Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Rifty Tiffany and I am back with another cook with me. Um, I'm gonna be trying to do as many as I can. Again, you guys know we are out right now. It's looking like about two weeks. So hopefully I can pump out some videos for you guys and I'm so excited to be spending some time with y'all, some quality time um, and share some really cool recipes. So this is a recipe I got off of Google. Again, I love Google. Um, but I have not tried it, but I'm excited. The ingredients sound very familiar. I'm sure it's it's, it's base, a basic recipe, but we're gonna use what I have, and I wanted to get creative so we don't get tired of the same meals. I have all natural ground turkey here, and it says to use chicken broth, which I don't have, or vegetable. Um, so I have vegetable bouillon or a beef. I'll decide which one, not sure yet. I have a packet of frozen broccoli florets and always remember to get the florets when you are shopping because that's the best part of it. I have parsley here, uh, crushed red pepper, I have elbows. You can pick whatever pasta you want. It just says to have a small pasta. Um, Parmesan cheese, you can use fresh, grated, how, whatever kind you have. This is what I have on hand. Um, salt, pepper, olive oil, and have a Dutch oven. And garlic, I just chopped up about three small cloves of garlic so I'm still chopping that up um, but we're gonna get started this is a ground turkey um, pasta dish basically it's ground turkey basically like a garlic cream parmesan ground turkey pasta so <laughs> I will um, yeah I will let you guys know how it's on Google, I'll have to look it up what the name of it is, but I'll just show you the steps that I have and it's all gonna cook in the Dutch oven together, even the pasta, you don't have to cook it separately. So we're gonna get started and of course you always heat this up. So we're gonna heat that up first because again, a Dutch oven takes a while to heat up and then we'll start searing the meat and the garlic. All right y'all, so while that's heating up, we'll also go ahead and add our olive oil in there. I just use extra virgin, Kroger brand, whatever brand, whatever store brand you have. Put a good amount in there, a couple teaspoons, tablespoons. That's about a, two tablespoons. I don't know why I turn the water off. I'm trying to get, I need to get three cups of water. I don't need it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it for the bouillon cube. I gotta make a decision, am I gonna use vegetable or am I gonna use beef? It says a light one, so it said to use vegetable or beef. I am sorry, vegetable or chicken. I'm probably gonna eat, mm, I'll probably use vegetable, not beef. And this, these are the actual large ones. I wish I had the ones I had from Dollar Tree, the chicken ones. Or actually, I have, I, have, I can use turkey stock. I also have turkey stock, so I could use that. Hmm. Yeah, because it's ground turkey. <gasps> I'm using turkey stock. Yep, just had an aha moment. So I'll use this. You have to have three cups. Oh gosh, we'll see how much that has in it. But that's definitely going to be our liquid, one of our liquids. Because you have to have three cups of water, three cups of stock or bouillon cube, whichever one that you want. Okay. I'm using my handy new thing from Dollar Tree. This is three cups. It has the writing on it, thank gosh. All right, so that's heating up, that's heated up now, and now we're gonna open up this turkey. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. I know some of us are stuck in the house. Um, I'm just trying to make the best of it, baking and cooking and making sure we have some dinners and stuff to eat. And that lunches, we're just having like sandwiches and leftovers. Um, let me wash my hands. And I just made a schedule today for my kids. So tomorrow we'll, we will be more on a schedule so we can figure out what all we need to get taken care of, do their schoolwork at the right time. Okay, so to this, we're gonna, um, you know, mix it up. We're gonna go ahead and add our red pepper. Go ahead and add some, however much for your family, not too much, the stuff is spicy. And some parsley. Always wanna flavor your meat. Now let me start chopping first. Let me bring you over here. 
I have to put you up some. Hold on one second. Alrighty. I gotta get one of those hamburger choppers. Just haven't done it yet. salt and pepper. All the salt. All some pepper. I know we added the red pepper, but just add a little bit of regular pepper. And I have my stove on medium heat. I'll let this get going. She's looking good, y'all. Um, and then we're going to start adding some of this garlic and make sure y'all not messed up. taste in there. Yum. So yummy. Make sure it's up enough. Is it? You want to ground it pretty good so it can, you know, I'm, I'm feeding three teen teenagers and myself. But it's gonna have a lot of pasta and broccoli, so you're adding a lot of stuff. You don't have to have so much meat. I don't like so much protein. I like some, but not just a whole bunch. All right, it's looking good, y'all. Looking good. What are y'all doing today? What, what type of activities are y'all doing to pass the time? I have a bunch of art stuff in my craft stuff um, that I've bought at Dollar Tree, like um, canvases and paint, and I wanna dip into that and do something, and Cayman can draw really good, and so can Kaya, so I'm thinking about getting them to sit down and do a couple drawings that I can actually frame. Also wanna do a puzzle, so that'll keep you busy for a little while. Um, and I wanna organize. Um, a couple of things. One of my closets upset. I want to organize a lot actually. So this is getting good and brown. It's looking really good. Then we're going to add, after we brown it all, then we're going to go ahead and add it because it's going to cook for a little bit with the pasta after we get this all nice and browned. Then we're going to add our turkey stock. Three cups. Three cups of um, turkey stock hold on one second okay y'all i was wrong you don't need three cups of water just the three cups of the turkey stock or chicken stock or vegetable broth so let's measure this out so i'm pouring this in here to get three cups it's probably almost this this thing's probably four cups all right, so that is a three cups, if you can see. Sorry, three cups. We're gonna pour her, pour her in, and then we're gonna add the three cups of pasta. Pasta. Uh, I'm using the elbows. Put it, keep it on medium. I was going to use add the box, but I'm like, let me make sure. You know what? I'm about to add this. This is about four cups of pasta, so I'll add another cup of um, the rest of the broth. There you go. See, we can make this work, y'all. We can make it work. Use everything that we have here. Let's use it up. That goes good. Let's mix it around. 
and then we're gonna put the top on it on medium and let this pasta work itself out and then we're gonna add more stuff to it but this look it's a one pot dish yum yum look how much this is gonna feed okay so let's try to might need just to add a little bit more I think I'll be fine if I have to add more stock or something I will but we're gonna put the lid on that and we're gonna it's on medium and I will get back to you okay y'all it cooks so fast now we need to add the broccoli to it it's soaked all the water up now we need to add the broccoli add the whole pack of frozen broccoli turn it down just a little bit because oh my goodness mix in the broccoli drop one and then let it cook some more with the lid on. But look, that is almost done. Let it steam the broccoli. Okay, y'all, so it also asks for tomatoes. Um, it doesn't ask for any cream on the recipe. And I, I wanna add like cream, y'all. It just, it doesn't, uh, maybe I'm just picturing it like it should be creamy. Um, I'm gonna taste it before I add cream, but something just makes me want to add cream. So we're gonna add the half a cup of grated Parmesan. I said half a cup. Let me get the half a cup. Okay. And I'm just using some uh, Kroger brand, Kroger brand Parmesan cheese. Put that in there. I'm gonna add some more parsley because it actually asked for half a cup. So I'm gonna add a good bit. I think it said fresh grated, but this is what I'm adding. So I'm gonna add that. So I'm gonna mix that so we can. Something. I just kind of want to add some heavy cream to it to make it just like a little creamy mixture, but maybe I shouldn't. And you gotta, once the broccoli kind of cooks, add some, I have two tomatoes right here to add. You can add tomatoes or I actually might add a little bit of either rotel or I don't know. I'm trying to think what else we can add to it. I'm going to spice up the recipe after I taste it. Oop. So this is what it's looking like so far. It looks good. It just need, looks like it needs okay, some Okay, y'all, so I cut up one tomato. And I'm going to add it. Definitely adds color to it. My kids don't really like tomatoes. Me and Cash do, but the other two don't. So I'm going to only add in one Roman tomato. Oh yeah, since we add one more cup of pasta, maybe I should add um, a little bit more cheese because I added that extra cup. I'm just getting creative at this point, y'all. <laughs> Doing my own thing. good though definitely looking good okay y'all we're about to taste it to see what we need it has enough parmesan cheese i can tell but if i want to add cream or if i just want to go with it like this um i don't know what i want to do let's try a spoon that has like tomato Everything in it. Here's a spoonful with everything in it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all might leave it like that. Surprisingly. Ooh, that's good. The Parmesan kind of made it have a little cream. I actually like that. Yum. It looks plain, y'all. But it's actually good. I might cut up the other tomato and put it in there. 
Matter of fact, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because it's actually done. I'm gonna cut this other tomato and we're gonna mix this one up. Look at this huge pot of food, y'all. This is gonna last my family. It's definitely feed some teenagers right here. Oh yeah. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. Y'all, this is the finished product up close. Look at that. Look at the creamy Parmesan around the sides. See the strings of Parmesan and when it melts. Yum, you don't even have to add cream because the Parmesan made it creamy enough. You just have to add enough. Yum. This looks good. So that is my final. That's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Definitely try this out. It tastes really, really good. And you can add, subtract, whatever you want. All right, this is my bowl, y'all. It looks so good. It tastes so good. Basic, plant. it looks, the noodles look a little dry, but they're not, y'all. Mix that up. It's so good, yum. Definitely try the recipe. Something very quick. This cooked so quick in that Dutch oven.